Welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. We're going to go through an example on how to find the vertex of a quadratic function using the vertex formula. So the example I've cooked up for this one is f of x equals negative 2x squared minus 12x minus 19. Now you could find the vertex by actually rewriting this into a better form uh, using completing the square and actually just reading off certain numbers. But the other way to do it is to use this formula right here. Now it looks like kind of a funny formula, but it's basically written as a point. It says if you want to find your vertex, you can figure out the x-coordinate by taking your negative b and dividing it by 2a. You can find the y-coordinate by taking that value and plugging it back into your function. Okay, So let's use this formula to see how it can find the vertex of my example. So the first thing I want to do is identify my a, b, and c. Right, just like that. And I'm first going to find the x-coordinate. So what I need to do is basically find negative b all over 2 times a. Looks like I got a lot of negative signs in there, but I'm just going to have to be really careful and see what happens. So negative, negative 12, there's a positive 12, a negative 4 on the bottom. So 12 divided by negative 4, negative 3. All right, so that gives me half of my vertex. Now I want to figure out what the y-coordinate is. So to do that, I take my value that I found for x, and I plug it into my function. There we are. Now let's evaluate this, being nice and careful, so negative 2 times a 9. See, 12 times a negative 3, so there's a negative 36 minus 19. Let's see, so this will be a negative 18 plus 36 minus 19. And so 18 minus 19 or just a negative 1. Alright, so this represents the y-coordinate of my vertex. There you go. So not a bad formula if you know how to read it and know where everything goes, and it's very efficient at finding the vertex. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.